slayed this. Me? I have no filter on, sis. Wait, we can get up and close, sis. We, we, clock. Hey, guys. Me. Welcome back to Asha Kosh. So, it's your girl, Asha Kosh. So, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I slayed this wig. It's kind of, I don't know if I'm going to make this a chit chat braid with me hair edition, or I'm just going to just show you guys how I did it. I don't know how it gotta go but we gonna keep it going if you like this way definitely like comment and subscribe let's get into the video <laughs> so today i'm gonna be doing a hair get ready with me i got the hair from hair vv it came in this beautiful box i actually recorded me opening it so that you guys can see what it looks like so i'll play those clips right now what it came in it's so cute a black box yes it's so elegant i don't even want to like open it open it because it's so cute but i guess we have to oh i can't do this with one hand it's looking so pretty so far not gonna lie the best packaging i've ever seen in any hair company so this is what the wig looks like when you first get it. It has this new technology in it where basically they put the scalp, the um, the stocking neck on it for you. They also bleach the knot for you. They are pre prop the wig for you. So basically all you have to do is put the wig on and it even comes with adjustable straps and it says Viva Hair VV on it. So this is like the best wig I've ever gotten because it's so high quality. I'm going to just throw this on without a stocking cap because you know it already has one on it the only thing that i can say is i wish i think they have different colors of the scalp that you can pick and i or if they don't this is the only one and i wish so i think i might only have to do is put like foundation on the part because i think it's a little too dark for me but as you guys can tell it looks really good on um yeah it's a it's a, a wig snatcher i'm gonna like strap it down correctly because i feel like i'm thinking they're trying to make me feel like <laughs> all i have to do is strap on the wig and it's gonna be like secure like all i have to do is put on the clips of it you know make the adjustable strap you know fit right and then boom the wig should be good and i'm kind of shook because if this is the case this is revolutionary this is this is, um, this is amazing. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put the strap on first. Yeah, I think it's, and then we're gonna try to put it on again. So I wanted this to be a chit chat, like hair get ready with me in a way. So I can talk about, you know, life and how I'm doing. Cause I know I've been gone off YouTube for a hot second. And that's just because in my mental state, I just haven't been mentally here. School is stressing me out. So with that being said, it's been kind of a struggle to like, okay, now that I put the adjustable strap on, this is secure. Okay, sweetie. The thing is, I don't think it like lower on my head because my edges are kind of sticking out, if you guys can tell. Which is fine because like I can like make that into the wig. Like I can definitely just use that as like the baby hairs. It's looking like what I'm gonna have to do. Oop, I do have to race. <laughs> so that with that being said, it's time to cut it. So this is what it looks like. Do some up close little shots before I cut it. Right. Without me doing anything. And look at the pattern of this wig. Beautiful. My friend, um, my friend's boyfriend said that it looked like a B Simone wig. And it really does. And I was like, yes. I mean, maybe I'll get a boyfriend if I get this wig. You know what I'm saying? But I'm excited to go to Miami. I thought my, I was supposed to be in Miami like right now. But not really because I thought my ticket was at like 10. 8 to 10 in the morning, but it's 8 to 10 at night, so I had like the whole day to like do this, and I was like, might as well film this video, because I wanted to do this, wear this wig, and, find, and it came like yesterday, so I didn't, so I bought another wig to wear for Miami, 
So now that this one here, it's just a blessing. And I just, I guess I need to stop. I was like, I don't know. I get really like upset easily. I bet everybody does when you think you're going somewhere one time and then the plans change and now it's like completely different. I was upset and it's no, I just had to breathe it out. I had to park my car when I figured it out that I booked the wrong flight and I just had to breathe it out and like, you know, keep it pushing basically because there's nothing really I can do about it other than cry and there's no need for tears because it's not like I'm not going to Miami. I'm just going a little later than usual and the blessing is that I can do all these videos I wanted because I have school today and like I want to get these like especially this video done so that I can wear this wig and not feel like I didn't you know do the company right because I've been delaying the wig video because you know I don't know anything can happen basically is how I feel and there I mean this looks pretty darn good, cannot lie, with me just putting it on, not doing anything to the wig, just like cutting the lace and just here, you know, type of thing. I'm just trying to ride the waves. And one thing that I've been doing lately has been trying to stay positive, only think positive thoughts because like if you guys know, duh, on my last video I've been like struggling a little bit lately. Because the school has been stressing. It's really because of school. I don't think you guys understand how hard school is. Especially college. Um, it's hard. And it's like. It's a men It's not even like. Like school now is like a mental game. The hair. It feels so good. Good quality hair. Alright. I'm just going to make sure this part. Alright. So. If you want, you could leave it like, I'll show you what the size look like without me doing anything to it. It's pretty darn good, right? No like complaints or anything. But I have to put the baby hairs on my fleek. Like I have to make this look just a tad bit better. You know what I'm saying? It's not even about, I don't even think it's about education at this point. Less learning something. Of course it's about us learning something. But it also is about time management. A mental game, you have to, because you're like fighting all these demons that you have. You have to focus on your life. Then you have to focus on school. It's like a lot. I didn't think y'all were trying to make me go to school so bad. You, you gotta be like, when me and Kayla decided to take our year off, you guys were like so disappointed. I felt like in my eyes, y'all were kind of disappointed because you guys were like, no, you guys should stay in school, blah, blah, blah. School is so great. College is so fun, blah, blah, blah. All this jazz. And I'm here, and I'm like, this is not what I expected. Like, the first semester was perfect. It was easy. It was straight. But now that I'm, I guess, getting into, like, the core classes, getting into more, like, I don't know, harder classes. I don't even know what you want to call it. It's like, oh, no, this is what college is. You know what I'm saying? The first semester, I guess, of college is, is it easy? Is it always easy? I guess it hooks you. It's like, oh, this is what it is. I can do it, you know? And then the real thing, the real life stuff starts happening. Because I swear, if I um, had the semester I had I have this year, on my first semester, I don't think I would have went to um, college. Because <laughs> it's so hard to, like, I don't know if it's because, like, I'm running this by myself now. And I have a lot of more responsibilities and stuff like that. And it's just overwhelming me a little bit. Trying to do YouTube and stay focused in my classes and get good grades because I'm a perfectionist. If you guys don't know, I'm a Virgo. And also when it comes to like, and I have anxiety. So that's just, I, and I'm a Libra cuss. So I'm very emotional. You know, I'm just got, I got, I'm a mixture of a lot of things and Basically, school stresses me out, especially when I'm not getting it right and I'm not exceeding like I want to be and I'm studying, I'm putting all the work in and I don't feel like I'm getting the best, like the best results. And, you know, basically, I'm putting all of my eggs into school right now, trying to get my grades back up right because they're not, they were slapping for a minute. It's basically what I'm saying. <laughs> done, done boohooing on YouTube. It's all positive vibes, but let's get this wig on. All right. All right. So before I do anything else, I just like did a little bit of the edges over here on this side. 
I want to fix this part before I like do anything else because it just is not my skin tone. It's not really wrong with it. I mean, if I was a little darker skin, this would be like the goat. But I'm gonna get my um, CoverGirl fish um, CoverGirl foundation powder foundation in the color. What color is this? Light medium gold. Light medium gold. I guess that's the best way. I guess that's the best way to describe my skin. It's not. It's golden. It's not like I have light areas around my face. I'm golden. I'm medium. Like light to medium. I, I can't get this. <sighs> I'm not trying to break my nails. Oh yeah, that makes it look so much better already. So as you guys can tell, it looks. I fixed it up real, real, really quick. Wow, that made a complete difference. Wow. Of course, I need to like you know get this flat still. So there's still like a lot more we gotta do, but I see it coming together, which I'm really happy about. All right, so I just finished putting doing the edges. Now, it's still kind of crooked. Okay, now let's get this. You know, that's fine. So I'm about to go get, get my hot comb on so I can like get this thing, you know, fall straight. <laughs> so I got this like free stick, you know, for like for like if you're here for your hair so it doesn't stick up. So I'm gonna rub that on the hair a lot. I guess I just put like a whole bunch of it, but just trying to make sure it's like it's flat. Oh yeah. This hasn't got hot enough yet. But so far, are you guys feeling it? I am. I'm definitely feeling this. This is cute. AF. Yeah. All right. Since we have time and we're just waiting for the flat, the um hot comb to heat up, I guess I like to talk about my event that I'm having with Bitchy Nails. Um, I'm gonna be having an event with her May 19, 2019. It's like a, gonna be a dinner, it's gonna be meet and greet, we're gonna be doing nails, we're gonna be talking, we're chatting. It's gonna be a good vibe. If you guys are interested in coming, definitely, I'm gonna have a link in the, um, my description where you can go to her website and purchase a ticket. And come hang out with me and eat and get your nails done and you know, just have a vibe time, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a great time. I can't wait to have you guys there with me and Nikki and her whole team. So yeah. Let's finish the wig so we can get turned. So we can get turned. And that's basically it. it only took me about 20 minutes to get this hair laid like this. So if you guys are interested in this wig, definitely click the link in the description. Definitely love this company. I'm gonna work with them more often because this wig is bomb. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like this wig. And if you guys are interested in the wig, definitely click the link below. And if I have discount code, it's gonna be you know down there as well. So yeah, I really love this hair. Thank you, Viva Hair, for sponsoring this video. Thank you for this wig. This wig is like, thank you for making me a baddie for Miami. I appreciate you 100%. So yeah, 
Um, this hair is, I believe, 22 inches, just to let you guys know how long it is before I get out. Show you guys me standing up with the wig and on. Don't come for my outfit. Y'all weren't supposed to see my bottoms, okay? But yeah. Yeah, this is cute. See you guys in my next video.